right, so continuing with that spring theme. I told you guys, I'm not messing around with spring. There's gonna be a lot more spring videos because it's such a short season that you really don't have a lot of time. You gotta come out swinging. So in this video, I've got shorts, I've got tees, I've got sneakers, and I've got a couple streetwear pickups that I'm gonna share with you guys. Actually, not a couple, just one, but it's a good one. Let's get into all that right now. So I'm gonna start light and then end heavy. This first pickup is from Everlane, and I am so excited about this basic t-shirt. Here's why. Everlane decided to make a double XL shirt. Typically their size run is from extra small to just extra large for some reason and a lot of their stuff tends to run a little bit small so an extra large can sometimes fit like a large. So if you're a true XL you're kind of SOL. Everlane decided to make a double XL and I think they're going to start making more double XLs. If you're unfamiliar with Everlane it's basic menswear stuff that is done well at an affordable price so it's a brand that I really like but sometimes it can be frustrating because I can't always wear all their stuff. Now they made a double XL and this t-shirt actually fits me great. So if you were in the same boat as me, 6'2", 190 pounds, and you're a true extra large and sometimes a double XL, Everlane has got you. This is actually a color that you don't see from Everlane that much either. Typically you see whites, you see blacks, you see grays and navies, you know, basic stuff. If you want a nice heavyweight t-shirt option, definitely check out Everlane. I will link their stuff down below. All right, moving on, I have two new pairs of shorts. And for me, I don't wear shorts in the springtime too often. There's certainly some hot days where I just have to wear shorts, that happens. But for the most part, it's either a lightweight jacket jacket and jeans or a t-shirt and jeans. But you know, you can definitely throw on shorts in some of the late April, early May days. So starting off, I've got a pair of Mitchell and S Bulls shorts. And bro, I don't even have to say much about these. You know the deal classic. So these are the Mitchell and S Swingman shorts and they're not as nice as the true authentic Mitchell and S shorts, but I actually like these a little bit better. They're more affordable for one. They're 75 bucks. The others I think are 125 and these have pockets on them. That is so key. It's very hard to wear shorts that don't have pockets. I have to like give my keys and my wallet to my girl and be like, Hold that real quick. But even though these are 75 bucks, the quality is still there. This is a nice pair of shorts and better than the Adidas version, in my opinion. You still get some stitching going on with the Bulls logo. Same thing with the NBA patch. They are mesh. And then you have that classic Bulls style. These are the throwback joints. So I'll be wearing these with a basic tee and some Jordans and it's just gonna be a solid look. I'm gonna be wearing a ton of Mitchell and S shorts this spring and this summer. They're just super comfortable. I like how many different teams they're putting out there right now. They've got like the all-star ones. They've got all the expansion teams, everything. So Mitchell and S doing their thing with some shorts. I'll link them down below. And that's not the only pair that I got. I got the Golden State Warrior throwback joints, bruh. Very nice. These things are just popping with color, with that yellow and that blue. I've got a lot of good stuff that I'm gonna wear with these. Honestly, taking these out of the package, I feel like I just gotta put some shots up real quick. So definitely get some Mitchell and S Swingman shorts in your rotation this spring and this summer. Wear them as streetwear style shorts. You can wear them with a denim jacket or with just a basic tee. However you wanna do it, but it's a nice comfortable option to have in your closet. All right, next up I got a pickup from Palace. I haven't picked up a lot from Palace recently because not a lot has really caught my eye. There's been some good things, but I don't know, for the most part, they've been a lot of passes. But when I saw this, I was like, all right, that's actually pretty clean, so I scooped it. Ah. I should have ironed this. I should have ironed this. Come on, man. So this is their basically a half zip bomber. And this is actually right up my alley because it's not too flashy, but there's subtle details throughout this simple pullover. You've got palace logos on both of the zippers on the front pocket. It's a quarter zip, so it's a pullover. And on the zipper on the front, you've got a palace logo. You've got a screen printed palace logo on the left side. So it's a nice French terry cotton material, which is great for the springtime because it's a little bit more breathable than a fleece is, and it doesn't get as warm. So this is certainly gonna be something that I'm breaking out ASAP, like the weather today would be perfect 
for this thing. So let me know if you guys picked up anything from Palace recently. All right, last up, I got a new sneaker pickup that I'm so hyped on. People didn't sleep on these per se, but they didn't sell out immediately. These were readily available for a few days and then they kind of disappeared off a lot of websites. But for me, as soon as they popped up on the sneakers app, I went ahead and grabbed them because this colorway cannot be denied. So this is definitely one of the best spring and summertime colorways that has dropped on the Nike Air Max in a while. Let me show them to you guys. Red and white Nike box. I'll read the colorway to you guys real quick. Summit white sunset pulse. Retail price was 110 and I was actually gonna do a fresh kicks for cheap on these because there was a promo code where you can get them for under $100, but they sold out and that promo code expired, so that didn't happen. Ooh. This colorway is undeniable. Check these Air Max ones out. Damn, these are so nice. So I've seen a few nicknames for this sneaker, but the one that seems to be most popular is the Air Max One Watermelon. On Air Max Day, I showed you guys these Air Max 97s, and I just thought these were amazing because of this color combination. It's unique, it's not really something you see too often, and I get the same vibe with these. The pinkish color on here with this green, really nice, man, it's just a great, combination this green you know it's not a south beach type green and it's not a celtic green it's kind of hard to describe but it works so well with this pink swoosh another thing i noticed about these air max ones right away is the shape it seems like nike got the shape right with these because sometimes air max ones have this weird shape to them and it's just off this one seems right i went true to size with these joints sometimes i size up on air max ones but true to size is looking like they'll fit me all right so we've got another edition of air max sneakers to the collection. Let me know if you were able to scoop the Air Max 97 ones because I took a fat L and uh, I'm still kind of hurting about that. I really want that sneaker. I may have to pay resell. I'm not sure. Let me know if you think that those 97 ones that dropped on Air Max day are worth paying resell. It's like $500. So kind of no, that's expensive for a pair of Air Max sneakers. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, I may have to sell a couple things to get those, who really knows? But in the meantime, these Air Max ones will do the trick and same thing with these 97s. This is kinda making it a little bit easier for me to not have that pair. Definitely hyped on both of these Air Max pickups. So let me know if you scooped any Air Maxes down below. Always interested to know what you've been scooping. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are new. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram because I post a lot of the things I'm picking up there first, especially if I find some of them under retail. So follow me on social media and then a lot more spring videos are on the way. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.